you are watching Adjuster TV. Today we're going to talk about a mobile office because as IAs, we got to be able to work from anywhere. So myself and our associate, Max Olson, are going to walk you through our setups and how we literally can set up and work from anywhere. Welcome back to the Auto IA Show by IA Path. At IA Path, we help you get started as an independent adjuster. Because you know how most companies have experience requirements that no new IA can make, like three to five years? Well, at IA Path, we developed the mentorship program that helps you get started working in the next 90 days. If you're interested, head over to iapath.com. Now I get asked a lot, Chris, what do I need tool-wise to be an independent adjuster? And I don't really think that's the right question, especially if you're working auto. There isn't a whole lot you need. Sure, with property, you have some tool belts, you have some ladders, but a lot of the things that we don't think about when we think about tools for IAs is mobile office equipment. What do you have to have to be able to work from anywhere? Now, obviously, we need a computer, right? We, we know that. If you're me, you need a nerdy trackball and you need a lap desk, whether it's one that fits in your car or one that you can take anywhere like this one. And you obviously need a place for your coffee cup, no matter where you go. But as long as you have these things, you technically can work from anywhere. But I'm gonna show you my entire bag of goods. What is inside of it? What do I carry around in a backpack just in case I need it? How can I work from a sailboat, a beach, or a palm tree and still able to produce content on the internet? And that's what we're going to walk you through today. But first, I'm going to send you over to Max Olson. He's going to show you a more traditional auto IA setup and what he has going on and how he works from his car. Hey, thanks, Chris. So my setup is pretty straightforward. I try to have everything that I need within arm's reach. Uh, the very first thing to note is really important, in my opinion. It's the captain's chair. I've got a foam memory pad seat because you're sitting in that car a lot of hours. You got to make sure that butt is cushioned. Otherwise, you're going to be having some pain in your rear, your back. It's not good. So I definitely recommend something like this. All right, next up I've got my little fun box, and this contains utensils for about 90% of the claims I'll ever complete. We have items like the keys and pocket rod, a full-size tape measure, a grease pencil for marking up hail dance or prior damage. I've got some business cards in case I need to hand those out. I've got regular pens just for writing. Tons and tons of these tread depth gauges. They're so easy to lose. You can get a pack of 20 on Amazon. I highly recommend doing something like that and just keeping a bunch of them throughout your car. I also have these tools for hail damage assessment just this very basic reflector board laminated very easy to do and then also one of these larger ones that you can also get on Amazon would highly recommend these they're just great and everybody that I show this to wants one next up I always be sure to carry some glass cleaner and some microfiber cloths or chamois or something like that because you never know when you're gonna have to clean off a dirty vehicle especially when you're getting into hail season and finally, not pictured is my little trapper keeper folder thing that I keep all of my scratch paper, my PDR sheet, and my claims in. Being that we're going through this whole COVID-19 situation, I have a ton of gloves. If you're having trouble finding these, check with your local body shops. A lot of times they have them in bulk and they might be willing to give you some, obviously hand sanitizer and a mask. The kind of central unit here is this inverter. It just plugs into my cigarette lighter, powers my phone and my laptop. I recommend getting one hardwired into your car if you can. That's what I usually have, but my last one burned out. So this is my temporary solution for now. Now next I've got this nifty little thing. It is a $10 Amazon special. Once again, just going through Amazon for all of this stuff. It hooks right onto your steering wheel and allows you to put your laptop right in front of you. It's so simple. It works on every car. And while some people spend, you know, a few hundred dollars on laptop mounts that mount on your passenger side, which I've done before for storm chasing, those work, but you have to turn your body 45 degrees to use them kind of over the center console. Uh, and that really does a number on your back after hours and hours of writing claims or you have to sit in the passenger seat and that just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense so I recommend this 100% it looks a little flimsy but I have a big 17 inch MSI computer and it has no problem keeping that there and steady while I write claims 
Now let's go ahead and wrap it up here in the rear of the vehicle. As you can see in the trunk, the first thing is the ladder. I pretty much only use this for RV inspections. It's a good investment. You can get one of these foldable ones for only about 100, 150 bucks at Home Depot. Then I've got some spare towels, some jumper cables, a pillow in case I have to sleep in my car. I also have all the basic necessities like coolant, windshield washer, fluid, and just basic tools for doing just about anything. Then finally, I have a tarp. Why you might ask, because a lot of you know I storm chase, and every once in a while you get a rogue hailstorm that blows out one of your back windows, and it is no fun driving back home through the rain with no back glass, so I've learned to bring a tarp and duct tape. You guys don't need that, but just something I've learned. Thanks everyone for checking out my mobile office. I'm going to throw it back to you, Chris. All right, so now it's my turn and I get to show you around my mobile office. Maybe someday I'll walk you around my boat and show you my home offices, uh, but the office called, so I've got to go. So I'm going to take you with me to the iPath office. For all the best tips, tricks, and tools, head on over to Adjuster TV's YouTube channel and click the subscribe button. Also, while you're there, don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can get notified every time we have a new video. All right, so what is in this bag? What does iPath operate off of out of a backpack? I mean, seriously, this is iPath in an office right here. So, number one and most important for me because I live on a sailboat, is a dry bag. Hopefully, it's a dry bag. So I keep all my electronics in here in case this bag ever gets compromised, like those waves coming up, um, and that the computer and everything electronic will stay safe. So, but what's inside the dry bag? One, it's computer, it's the trackball, but what else? The GoPro, which you're, we're recording on right now. We got our field recorder microphone. Always a lot of extension cords. Do you know how far we have to go to get power from a palm tree? We have to have a lot of extension cords. The ultimate in chargers. You have to have a fast charger, okay, to keep up. And then the longest cord you can find on sale at Office Depot, right? So six feet is the minimum of which we can operate off of all right so there's a few other things i have stashed away in here which for you may also be extremely useful is an external hard drive look at this tiny thing for all those photos that clog up the space on your computer that can't upload to the cloud fast enough this thing holds 500 gigabytes and it's water resistant beautiful a good pair of headphones because we can't do the job without rocking out and so these my son bought me little Bluetooth headphones he's very proud of that Christmas gift and they are amazing so get yourself some good headphones on me and then my little adapter for my nerd trackball do not lose this if you get a trackball it's what it uh, connects it to your computer all right so that's the dry bag now another thing you'll notice a lot of things about dry in my presentation dry shampoo okay you think this hair just comes like this on a sailboat no dove dry shampoo we're able to rock and roll at any time of day no matter what the humidity says all right let's see what else we got in here my cell phone inside my merce so a merce is a man purse and inside it is my cell phone so it keeps it safe and sound so when you guys call me with your questions about being an eye and i'm seeing a dinghy it's not getting splashed and ruined okay kindle just in case i want to escape for five minutes and i want to read about something okay this is also water resistant this i never use but i always wish i was using it it's a travel journal and like supposed to write ideas down in but if you guys have listened to me for very long watched me i hate paper so i never end up using it because it gets ruined and then might i suggest for you and you know you have times downtime where you have to wait for an appointment and you just wish you had something interesting to do so bring along some light reading so 
So those times when you get bored, you can read the most interesting books on the planet, like the Auto Adjusters Playbook, or the Hail Adjusters Playbook, the Networking Adjusters Playbook, and of course, a personal all-time interesting favorite is the Auditex Adjusters Playbook. So that's what I have in my backpack, and that's what Max has in his car. What do you have in your car? What's your setup? Send over a video or some pictures of what your setup is to chris at ipath.com. We'd love to see it and slide it into our show at different times and maybe create our own little segment about mobile office setup for IAs. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Auto IA Show. If you're interested in becoming an auto damage appraiser or independent auto adjuster, uh, head on over to ipath.com and click the how to find work button. There we give you a free course on how to get started as an IA and get started working so you can be successful in your career. Until next week, keep walking your path and claiming your life.